Thanks, uh, CIA, for inviting me here. And one of the best things, you know, when you come to a place like this, you you meet your friends, your colleagues, your ex-colleagues, and I think that energizes you. And that is one of the reasons that I came today. And it's very happy. I'm very happy to see some of the people whom I work with them. Really, they all are looking great. As Mr. Anil Kumar very rightly mentioned, you know, industry has always faced challenges. I don't know, we started our career, whatever we education and all that 40 years ago. And when I see this slide of Ganesh Bhatti, these are the same things then also and today also. <laughs> same thing. I mean, you can, if somebody has those kind of, you know, anything written, you can pick it up 40 years ago in journals and everything, you will see the same thing. Today, those challenges are there and the industry has come out of those challenges very well. I don't know why and how, that's why we were just walking, me and our earlier boss Mishraji, we were together and I was saying, there is some force, you know, which comes into the play to help you out, which we don't know. And that's what we believe in it, that if you do your work well, there will be somebody, something that will definitely help you. Remember two years ago, during COVID, what was the condition, what did you think, lowest ever paper prices. So much of uncertainty, nobody knew actually what's going to happen. Were we prepared for that? Can we be prepared for something like that? No. But I think there has been a lot of learning during that phase. And today, two years down the road, I think industry is doing well, production is good, but the challenges remain. Now, one of the theme, either the main theme that I see here, make Indian pulp and paper industry world class, globally competitive. I think very good theme because unless you have the right thought and bigger dreams, you can't achieve it. But are we really doing enough to be somewhere closer to that or that will be a slogan for next 40 years also something like this. My request to CIA will be that from a seminar like this or maybe later, we should make some kind of a compendium to say that what can we really do to become world class or globally competitive. Can we do it in terms of scale? One of, I was reading an article that one of the integrated paper mill in the country is dreaming of. Today they are 5 lakh tons per year. Next year they want to become 6 lakhs. And in next 5 years, you know, great way of looking at things. Three times of the capacity because today the turnover is 3,300 crores. If you want to become 10,000 crores, you need at least 1.8 million ton. That can be globally scaled. Can our infrastructure survive that at one location? That means 5,000 tons per day. But we don't have to be. It's not necessary because think of 5,000 tons of a paper at one location will need 10,000 tons of wood. 100,000 cubic meter of water per day. But we don't have to be. What I mean to say, you can be different location, but we can be very efficient. And truly, you know, though we have come a long way and many mills are doing very, very well, but I think if we come to the efficiencies, plant efficiencies, and if we talk about the product quality, quality is not just you measure your baking length and you know, cob and this and that, there are a lot many things, because that quality means the person to whom I am selling my paper, he should be able to use 100% of that paper without any problem. Can we be near to that? And to me personally, I think, though we have many challenges, but still the biggest challenge remains the raw material. It may be wood, it may be bagas or wheat straw, the enough quantities are not available within the area where we are operating or whether it is a waste paper. So I think one single thing which we should put a lot of efforts is the raw material. Look at the wood quality that we get and the quantity that we get. 
some mills are you know everybody says i am planting more than i am harvesting if that is the case where is the problem of shortage it means everybody is not doing so one point which we keep on discussing about what can be the framework everybody must ensure that there is enough plantation and the rightly if you want you know at a economic cost and the quantity that we need we have to work with the people because we don't uh, we we are not the people who are really growing we are giving saplings or working with the people and all that same thing happens with store bagas yeah see we as manufacturers are not growing all these things so we have to work with these people to ensure that we get the raw material think of waste paper what do we do we need about 16 million tons of waste paper today of various qualities how much we we do i mean recycle in india how much we collect four and a half million tons maximum 11 million tons around that we are importing so we need to take who and of what form european paper recycling commission even in this time they have taken a target there is a framework they have taken a target of 76 percent of recycling if india does 50 we will be at 9 million tons of our own domestic paper but at what forum do we just keep on talking that we will do it what is it that those who are using including our company if you are using some waste paper what are we really doing to collect that waste paper i think i think efforts are very very minimal as far as the industry is concerned i still see good future and i think i personally believe next at least three quarters we are going to have good demand robust demand whatever may come there has been a boost to you know the production and the demand because of sup but please be careful what happens is when i have interacted with many people they still think paper industry will make straws paper industry will make paper cups but that's not the case we don't make we make base paper and same way the case with the plastic industry they were not making straws they were making ldp this and that and it is a convert so the message is that we should very closely work with the converters and brand owners see we produce paper paper is such a wonderful material that on the paper machine i can change it in many ways i mean if i making make a writing printing paper i can change its strength properties i can change its barrier characteristics we can change many things of paper but i should know what is the final end use requirement so unless we work with you see there are examples where paper industry or manufacturers have to work with them some of them are working you see stora and so along with a tetra pack look at that model mondi is working with fiorini international look at that model similarly we are getting paper from bilarud korsnas and there is a company at attack they are making straws so we have to make you know these kind of collaboration so that we work with this and it will take time it's not going to happen today but if you read you know some of the consumer they will come and tell oh the straws are becoming very expensive now i just would like to know how much is the straw cost when you do you know relatively it will make a difference total paper requirement for the country for straw manufacturing is about 20000 tons a year if you give 2000 tons to a mill i think this will be production for a larger mills not even you will not have ordered for a month even for a day so many times you know at forum they talk about, talk about you don't have the right material in india i think several mills can make the paper for a straw any day the quality that you want same thing about the paper cups it's not the first time paper industry has been making raw material for paper cups for the last 60 years actually yes they were p lined and all that the challenge today will remain the not only in developing paper i think paper industry can do it tomorrow the challenge lies to give the right kind of barrier characteristics otherwise what will happen if the cup is not of the right quality the blame will be on paper industry that we are not able to because we don't make the papers with barrier character some of people are doing it with the brand owner so we need to do that 
so challenges are there they will remain we should work on raw material very seriously other things will come around i think people have become quite energy efficient in our country lot of scope to do so my request to cie will be that we should make some kind of and there are so you know you look even you can pick up people from here they will help you out in different sectors you go wherever you are now somebody was asking me as an interview you know like five days ago if the time has come for uh, you know agriculture residues i said that has been there for last 40 50 years it is still there but where is the right kind and quantity of bagasse and straw available today two three months ago there was a panic you know because some organization and in some district they started saying give a straw to the cows first and only then it will go to the paper mills um, anybody who is selling straws if he is there he is firstly feeding his animals you know and only it's the quantity which is beyond that it goes to the paper industry so you know wrong things happen many a times and they will continue to so we have got a good future and i think uh, indian paper industry has come a long way and i'm sure cia will do a good job in making some kind of you know compendium you can have all any association anybody i think people are very you know coming forward in all these things and i think we should have for next two days we should have deliberations to make any to our industry efficient productive and take care of the people because people is going to be the biggest problem you know it has been and now it is more so the only thing just by paying money you cannot get people they will come but you need people first so take care of people very well